within the field of planning, um, there has been some resistance to looking at issues of sexuality in space. Uh, our sister fields of geography and sociology are much further advanced in talking about, writing about, making academically worthwhile topics the issues of how does sexuality and urban space, how do they uh, interact. Um, so um, a group of us within the Co Association of Collegiate Schools of Planning have been meeting for the last uh, four or five years um, to talk about how do we raise the visibility of some of these issues uh, within this organization. And uh, we uh, decided what we needed to do was put together a book on the topic um, at a, from a, a mainline publisher that has a good, uh, uh, has a good planning list. And, uh, and uh, so we put together a proposal. Um, we have contributors from uh, mostly planning departments, but there are a few geographers who work on urban issues uh, who also have written about it. There was a, a senior colleague uh, many years ago, 10, 15 years ago, asked me uh, when I said I was going to be studying issues of sexuality in space and uh, uh, gay neighborhoods. Um, he said, what is there to study? Wealthy gay men uh, rehab uh, old houses and push out the black people who live there. And um, that's just so wrong on so many levels. Uh, what we are trying to do with this book, planning an LGBTQ communities, the need for inclusive queer space, is where um, our experience is that uh, there are a range of people, not just gay men, but lesbians, uh, bisexuals, trans men, trans women, and people who simply identify as queer who have needs for urban spaces and spaces to congregate. They have needs to uh, places that are inclusive of uh, their identities. The other piece that I think we tried to take on directly with this book is the need for intersectional analysis because uh, many of these LGBTQ people are also people of color. Some of them may be uh, uh, black, lesbian, uh, and transsexual. Uh, some of them could be uh, bisexual, uh, uh, Latino, and uh, identify as queer. And so all of these categories we've tried to cover uh, in this book in, in various chapters. Um, uh, and so um, I think it's a real path-breaking book. And um, there's certainly a lot more research to be done, but as a sort of a, an important book uh, from an important planning publisher, uh, it's, a, it's a huge first step. And uh, I'm very pleased. Uh, Rutledge has been great to work with, um, and I look forward to uh, future collaborations.